tell me about those secret societies. What is their purpose? What what do they do in, in the real world? Because for me, I'm like, a secret society, that in itself seems like something that is in fiction. I mean, look, <laughs> the societies at Yale are secret because way back when Phi Beta Kappa, which is now considered uh, just an academic society, uh, it wasn't. It was also a social society. And then there was this major movement in the United States rejecting anything Masonic. It was considered elitist. It was considered dangerous. And so anything secretive or associated with those kinds of rituals, it was that was out. And so Phi Beta Kappa says, we're not secret anymore. And a bunch of guys at Yale were like, but we like being secret. <laughs> I was promised I was going to get to be secret. And so they founded Skull and Bones. And so this is Societies since then are essentially their networking clubs, and uh, they have evolved now to be places where you really do have the opportunity at their best to come into contact with people who, you know, after four years at school, you probably have closed in that social mm -hmm. circle. And I got to meet people who I don't think I would have met otherwise. We had differing interests, we had differing majors, uh, and we got to know each other very well. And I'm still very close to the people who are in my society. But the reality is they occupy a very strange space on campus. There are eight societies that are con considered the ancient eight, and they have these elaborate tombs that are essentially clubhouses, but they are massive, windowless buildings. They're built in these whimsical architectural styles. Skull and Bones is a giant Egyptian temple built in red stone on the campus. Uh, Book and Snake is a massive white marble mausoleum, okay? <laughs> like, they want to be looked at, so they're essentially announcing their presence, and yet they said, you know, yeah. look at us, don't look at us, look at us, don't look at us, you know? So that, to me, that tension is very fun. And when I first started to understand what they were as a student, I just became obsessed with them. Mm. How did how'd you get in? I had to do a few murders. <laughs> um, I don't honestly know. <laughs> so at least um, from my society, we had a rule where we had to look at literally everybody who was in the class beneath us. And uh, and I, I guess I had done enough interesting things that somebody said, oh, I think she would be fun. I don't know. Maybe I met somebody at a party and they like me. And they take you and they interview you. And I remember they said, well, would you want to be in this? I said, well, I'm not going to say I love you first. You, know, you have to <laughs> say you love me. And then I'll tell you if I love you. But um, yeah, I, I consider myself very fortunate because I got access to this world. But I also understand there's no question, and I think my relationship to the societies and to Yale is very much paralleled by Alex, and that mm. I fell in love with this place. It was so different from any place I'd been before. It was, it had a very deep magic to it, and I wanted so desperately to belong to it. But mm. you have to ask yourself, in that desperation to belong, what compromises you might be making. Mm. And before we depart from talking about Yale, what would you say is the most surprising thing in the book, which is actually drawn from a real experience you had at Yale? Oh, that's an interesting question. I mean, I will say that people might be startled if they go down the rabbit hole. Many of the stories I tell about Yale and New Haven are 100% true. Mm. So when I talk about the fact that there are thousands of bodies still interred beneath the New Haven Green, that is true. And when I say that after a hurricane, a skeleton was found tangled in the roots of one of the trees having risen up through the soil, that is true. <laughs> so I, I invite people to, if you come across a little bit of New Haven lore or Yale lore, to, to, see, to find out, to give it a push and see if it's real.